Want to know how to pitch your startup to some of the biggest tech titans in the world? It takes more than just luck. And here's how I did it. Imagine a world where your favorite films were missing sound. Think the muted version of The Avengers without its iconic musical score. So let's reset. Each and every molecule can be turned into a melody and can enrich molecular discovery. Music and science have always been a huge part of my life, from playing the piano and violin to attending science fairs. Using this background, I began to build my startup. The Sound of Molecules is an information encoding technique using AI to map musical notes to elements in the periodic table. This will lead us to find new ways to optimize data for drug discovery in healthcare and education. I've even published two books about it, which you can find on Amazon. I pitched my idea to Dean Bashir, who loved it, and suggested applications for DNA encoding. Fast forward to when he introduced me to Tom Siebel, one of the tech giants and a Granger Engineering alum. I actually pitched to him, and he asked me for copies of my book. I recently saw him again at TEC's Silicon Valley Workshop, where I toured startups at varying stages, including C3 AI, where he's the founder and CEO. He remembered me and even shared my children's book with his grandchildren for Christmas. I've come so far on my own journey, and I can't wait to see where it leads me. I'm eager to take my startup full-time in the Bay Area and continue to build. So, if you're just getting started, remember, campus resources and events are your friends. Be sure to check out TEC's email, website, and Discord. I venture co-working events, women in entrepreneurship on social, and the COZED New Venture Challenge. You'll find communities to support your startup, practice your social skills, and prepare you for those important connections. Just keep going. Beyond participating in university events, make sure to build meaningful connections and go the extra mile, whether it's staying behind to talk to someone one-on-one -on -one or connecting on a human level. So you see, it wasn't just luck. It was going above and beyond, using the resources around me to be in the right place at the right time. As you carve out your own path, where will your connections take you?